Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here. Many applications require the need to post and subscribe to events. This is often used when designing distributed systems, but learning APIs can really slow you down. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to publish and subscribe to events using Dapper in a console app and a web service. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect. PubSub is another building block provided by Dapper. Dapper can be used in all sorts of situations, so in this demo, I'm gonna use a console app and a web service. Dapper offers generic and cloud-specific brokers. If you don't see the component you need, Dapper is open source and easy to extend by adding your own components. Now let's jump into the code. First, I create a folder to hold the component definitions for Dapper. Then, I copy the default PubSub YAML to my components folder. The name of the component is PubSub. This value is needed to post and subscribe to events. The type of this component is PubSub.Redis. Because this is defined in the component, it can be changed without changing any code. Next, I add a subscription.yaml file to configure where to receive events. I'm going to visit the Dapper doc site to copy the YAML needed to define this subscription. Now. I'm going to paste the sample YAML and update the information. First, I will scope my subscription to a single app with an app ID of sub. Notice the PubSub name value is PubSub to match the component I just reviewed. Next, I will set the route to where Dapper should send the events. In my web service, I will define a post method at this route. Finally, I update the topic to my topic. This will be where my events will be sent to and read from. With my component defined, I can create the apps to publish and subscribe to the events. Any language can be used that can accept a post request. I've written this application using Java and Node.js before, so today I'm going to use .NET. To publish events, I will use a console application. This will demonstrate that Dapper can be used in all types of applications, not just microservices. For the subscriber application, I will use a web API. I'm going to clean up the sample code of the subscriber. I will not need the weather forecast file, so I will delete it. I'm also going to rename the default controller file to process controller. Now I will update the controller's name. I will remove the code from lines 14 to 17. Finally, I will replace the get method with a post. Notice that when I define the route of my post request, the name is process to match the value in my component. If the route and the route value in my component do not match, my code will not be called. In the method, I'm going to log the body provided in the request. Notice that there is no dapper or broker specific code in the application. I simply define a post method and dapper will make sure the events are sent to my code. Now I will update the publisher. First, I add a HTTP client to post the events to the topic. When an application is run by Dapper, an environment variable named Dapper underscore HTTP underscore port is created and populated with the port of Dapper to be used in requests. So I'm gonna add a line to read that value. Now I add a for loop to post 10 events to the topic defined in the component. The body can be any valid JSON string. The address to post events is localhost on the port read from the environment variable slash v1.0 slash publish slash the name of the default PubSub component, which is PubSub, and slash the name of the topic, which is my topic. With the code in place, I can run my applications with Dapper. I tell Dapper the app ID is sub, which is the app I scoped the subscription to, the port my application is running on, and the folder where I defined my components. Finally, I have Dapper launch my application using .NET Run. While the subscriber starts, I start the publisher with Dapper as well. Dapper starts and runs my applications. As the events are published, the logs of the subscriber are populated with the body of the requests. 
Dapper makes it easy to publish and subscribe to events in a decoupled way and requires no additional libraries, SDKs, or dependencies. To learn more, visit dapper.io and join the Dapper community on Discord. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect.